Hey, it's time for another devotion from history. On May 4th of 1932, Elliot Ness finally caught up with the man he'd been after for so long and got some charges to stick against Al Scarface Capone. Al Capone came from New York to Chicago in 1923 and quickly saw that the opportunity for business in Chicago was huge. It was the era of prohibition and he knew that there was a huge need for bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. And so he set up a crime syndicate on the south side of Chicago that in its heyday generated an estimated $100 million per year. Capone's grip on the political and law enforcement establishments in Chicago were widely known, and it was that kind of influence that enabled him, enabled him to operate in Chicago virtually free from legal intrusion. He garnered media support, and media attention became somewhat of a celebrity. And his response to people was simply, hey, I'm a businessman, I give the people what they want. Well, assassination attempts against Capone were fairly common, and so he had his big fancy Cadillac outfitted with bulletproof glass and run flat tires and even a police siren on top. In 1929, he managed to arrange the most famous notorious gangland killing of the century, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and nobody ever went to trial. So what was it that finally got Al Capone arrested on May 4th of 1932? They got him on income tax evasion and he ended up serving 11 years. And what happened to that famous bulletproof car? Well, the Treasury Department confiscated it and it became President Delano Roosevelt's personal limousine. You know, it's tempting to look at people who we know are doing things wrong and yet we see them seemingly succeeding. And it kind of makes you wonder, does crime really pay? Is it true that the good guys finish last? But I'll tell you this, it finally does catch up with you. The scripture tells us that the wages of sin really is death, and you can only outrun the judgment of God for so long before it will finally catch up with you. So today, Take a look at your life. Is there anything in there that you need to take care of? If there is, take care of it today because one day those wages really will catch up with you and you'll have to pay the piper just like Al Capone did. I'll see you tomorrow on Devotions from History.